It is now time for Ask the Expert. We're talking about the health of your pets today. And joining us today, Bella, a six-year-old Shih Tzu, and of course our resident pet vet, Dr. Katie Heinrich with the Silver Spring Animal Wellness Center. So Bella's owner believes she has arthritis, uh, taking her to two vets. Both are saying that she's fine. Obviously, they want to know what they can do, so treating this, if it is arthritis, doesn't cost them a fortune. Yeah, and uh, it, it can be hard to tell if your pet has arthritis. Being an animal, they are just naturally inclined to hide if they're in pain, if they have discomfort because in the wild, then that would mean their lunch. So um, at home, sometimes you can get a better idea of what's going on with your pet because they're more relaxed and you can observe how they're, how they're walking, if they're stiff when they first get up, if you notice any lameness, trouble going up and down stairs, or hesitation jumping on and off the couch in and out of the car things like that often it, you'll notice things like that at home and then you take your pet into the vet and they've got the adrenaline going they're nervous they want to hide whatever it is going on um, so it, it can be tough it can be tough to determine what's going on but um, usually if you're thinking your pet has arthritis you do want to make an appointment of course to have a good physical done possibly take some x-rays sometimes arthritis will show up on x-rays that you that does not show up on the physical exam if you if they're kind of hiding it. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as things to do about it, probably the most inexpensive way to start if it's mild is to get them on some supplements. Um, there is a supplement called glucosamine and it's often mixed with chondroitin and that is the building blocks of cartilage. And uh, uh, the theory is if you give that over a period of weeks to months, you start building the cartilage back up in their joints, with re which reduces the bone-on-bone -bone friction, which causes the discomfort. So that's probably the first thing to try. Are there canine pain relievers? Oh, there absolutely are, yeah. There's many types of non anti-inflammatories and other type of pain medication. Sure. Um, so if the supplements you know, aren't doing the trick, or if you need something stronger right away, you can definitely ask your vet about that. Because we have, treating arthritis, we have so many options, and you just have to find the right combination that's going to work for your dog. So real quickly, if you're noticing behavior at home that's odd, what about taping it? Then bringing it in that's, and showing the doctor. That's a fantastic idea. Yep, Ooh. and people have video on their phone and, and right, it gets it's a lot more convenient. Yeah. Okay. And how's Bella doing? Bella is doing fantastic. She's starting to relax a little bit. <laughs> she's a little nervous <laughs> for her first yeah. camera debut. She's so cute in her ribbons. But she's good. She's quiet. She is. All right. Good girl. And thanks for the advice. You're welcome. So if you have a question for our experts, you can email them at askthexperttodaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, the number 967-5253. We're back after the break.